You're not really blocking websites on Chrome, at least not in a way that works long term. Chrome doesn't make it easy, and the methods most people use, they're either too manual or too easy to bypass. This video breaks down the methods that actually work, including one that blocks websites across all devices with almost no effort. This is Safety Detectives, and if you're looking to block websites on Google Chrome, this video walks through the most effective ways to do it in 2025. Whether it's TikTok during study time, or malware sites you don't want your kids anywhere near, Chrome offers a bunch of options, but not all of them work the way you expect. Coming up are the exact steps, tools, and smart settings that actually make site blocking work across all the devices that matter. Why Chrome's built-in tools just don't cut it. Chrome includes an option to block websites, but it's not designed for real control. The setting is buried under layers of menus. Each website has to be added manually, and the block only applies to that specific browser on that specific device. There's no password protection, no syncing across devices, and no way to stop someone from opening a different browser or using incognito mode. For anyone trying to avoid distractions, it's easy to undo. For parents trying to restrict content, it's easy to bypass. That's why this guide covers the most effective ways to block websites on Chrome, using both manual controls and smarter tools that make the process faster, stronger, and harder to work around. How to actually block a website on Chrome There are a lot of reasons to block a website. Maybe it's to stay focused during work hours. Maybe it's to keep your kids off YouTube during homework time. Or maybe it's to block explicit content entirely on every device they use. Whatever the goal, Chrome gives you some options, and so do smarter tools built for real control. Method 1. Block a website manually in Chrome. If you want to block a specific site like TikTok or YouTube and you don't mind doing it one device at a time, Chrome gives you a built-in method. It's not exactly elegant, but it does the job. Here's how to do it. Step 1. Open Chrome Settings. Click the three dots in the top right corner of Chrome. From the drop-down menu, select Settings. Step 2. Go to Site Settings. In the left-hand menu, click Privacy and Security, then select Site Settings from the options that appear. Step 3. Find the JavaScript controls. Scroll down to the Content section. Click on JavaScript. You'll now see a section called Not Allowed to Use JavaScript. This is where you'll enter any website you want to block. Step 4. Add the website you want to block. Click Add, then enter the full web address of the site. For example, what this does is block JavaScript from running on that site. And because sites like TikTok and YouTube rely heavily on JavaScript, the page either won't load at all or will break so badly it becomes unusable. If the site still loads partially or doesn't break the way you expect, try blocking other elements like images, pop-ups, or redirects in the Chrome settings. These extra restrictions can sometimes help cut off functionality when JavaScript alone doesn't do the job. Step 5. Repeat for other sites. If you want to block more than one site, you'll need to repeat this process for each one. There's no bulk option. This approach works if you're just trying to stay off a specific site on your own browser, but it's not secure, it's not password protected, and it's easy to undo if someone knows where to look. It also doesn't sync across devices. So if you're blocking websites for your child or managing multiple devices, this method quickly turns into a full-time job. If you're looking for something that works across phones, tablets, and other browsers too, there's a better way. Method 2. Block any website using Custodio. If Chrome's built-in tools feel like patchwork, Custodio is the full control panel. It's a dedicated parental control app that lets you block websites across all major browsers and devices, not just Chrome, and not just on one computer. Here's how it works. Step 1. Create a Custodio account. Head to custodio.com and sign up for a free or premium account. Premium gives you access to full web filtering and multi-device management. Step 2. Install the app on all devices. Custodio works on all major platforms. That includes Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, and even Chromebook. So whether your child is using a phone, a tablet, or a school laptop, the same rules apply. Once each device is linked to their profile, web filtering stays consistent across all of them, no matter what browser or operating system is being used. Step 3. Open the web filtering dashboard. Once installed, log into the Custodio dashboard. Under the child's profile, find the section called Rules or Web Filtering. This is where the magic happens. Step 4. Block specific websites or categories. You can add specific URLs to block, like www.tiktok.com or www.youtube.com, 
or you can block entire categories like streaming media, social networks, or explicit content. Custodio updates its categories automatically, so even if a site changes domains, it's still covered. No need to hunt down every variation manually. Step 5. Save and Apply Settings once your rules are set, Custodio starts enforcing them instantly. The block works across Chrome, Safari, Edge, basically anything with a browser. And since it's managed through one dashboard, changes apply everywhere. No need to repeat the process on every device or browser. This setup is especially useful for parents, but it also works if you're trying to keep your own screen time in check. It's faster, more consistent, and way harder to get around than anything Chrome offers by default. Manual versus Smart Blocking Here's the real difference. Manual blocking in Chrome is fine for simple situations. If you're only trying to block one or two websites on your own computer and you don't mind doing the setup yourself, it works. But once you add more devices, more users, or different browsers, it gets tedious. You have to repeat the same process for every site, on every browser, on every device. And even then, it's easy to reverse if someone knows how to dig into the settings. Questodio avoids that problem entirely. Instead of setting things up one by one, everything is managed from a single dashboard. Once the rules are in place, they apply across all connected devices. It's faster and more reliable, especially for families or anyone trying to manage screen time or restrict access without spending hours on manual configuration. If the goal is to block websites in a way that actually holds up, using a dedicated app like Questodio is simply more effective. What to do next? Blocking websites on Chrome manually still works, but it's limited, time-consuming, and easy to bypass. For full control across devices and browsers, a parental control app like Custodio is a much better option. There's a link in the description to check it out. It comes with a money-back guarantee, so you can test it risk-free. Have a different method that works for you? Drop it in the comments. And if you want to take things a step further, check out our video on online privacy tools that go beyond basic browser settings.